though there are no limitations, there is endless space, an endless universe. Now, in the 21st century, we're not allowed to do that. Anyone who looks up and sees the giant grids and the X's in the sky that, that weren't part of our existence until just a, a decade or two ago is somehow called a kook. And the people that are the best and biggest proponents They're for the revolution TV. and for liberty, they don't want you to talk about it because you could discredit them. It, it seems to be an industry that's being built up to, uh, to milk the taxpayers by undergoing some kind of a giant a spraying, global spraying program to make all kinds of money on the project. And they don't seem to care really what effect it has. They're not trying to experiment to see if humans can survive it or anything like that. They just want to get this stuff up. And then we discover as we're going further down the line that there are companies generating a, a genetically modified organisms, seeds, uh, modified seed crops that are they're being engineered to resist the aluminum in the soil. A lot of crops won't grow in that. And so now, after they've messed up the soil, all the farmers were going to have to go back and uh, buy seeds that have been yeah. genetically engineered to resist the aluminum that have been put into the soil. And all of a sudden, uh, mankind is completely dependent upon these uh, companies like Monsanto and other giant uh, agricultural firms. You can't even grow natural seeds anymore. And we're looking at that. It's a, it's a shocking thing. I hope, I hope we don't find that that's true. But all the arrows right now are pointing in that direction.